Where'd the courier go to? Marshal, are you okay? What's with the attitude? I'm only asking because I was worried. You'd think nothing happened at all. I don't need your jabber, boy. Derek Buchanan. I'm not sure why, but he seems determined to ignore me. You've got quite a young wife. Is there a big age gap between you? You're giving courage to men all across our fair nation. If a stony-faced gorilla like you can marry such a young, beautiful creature, <laughs> there's hope for all of us yet, isn't there? But that's a surprise. You're the last person I'd expect to be carrying a picture of your family. Listen up. I don't know who you are. But if you want to keep sucking down air, never talk to me again. A man is far more than just his looks. My wife understood that well. Marshal Buchanan doesn't know who I am? There's something very odd going on here. But just what is it? says Boston quite like this. There must be a baseball fan on board. for Boston versus New York. Pretty good seats, too. Of course, it's been used. <laughs> Things don't come that easy. Think to try this. I must be getting tired.
Oh, ma chérie, I know. You must have been so scared. How is my Suki? Okay. There'll be champagne as soon as we arrive in D.C. Ooh, I think some Chardonnay might be nice. Didn't your mannequin just break? Hey, excuse me. She's Suki, not a mannequin. Therefore, she most certainly cannot ever just break. Do you intend to make an enemy of the entire fashion industry? No. That mannequin got totally wrecked. Tut tut! Say another word, mister, and I shall unleash my anger! Okay, you win. Forget I even asked about your mannequin. <sighs> my bad. No more about Suki. That's right. She's not a mannequin. We can forget this ever happened. Of course, us being top fashion designers, we're never going to remember you anyway. <laughs> Your choices in fashion, so terrible. How can one walk outside wearing that? When did you become a military maniac? This is a fashion, you heathen. Retro and military, it's called. Both Suki and I are completely anti-war, of course. Okay. But what I really wanted to know was, when did you change your clothes? <sighs> Progress cannot be stopped. When we changed is not what is important. Rather, the question should be, when can we change? Indeed, just look. The fashion we have on right now is already headed toward obscurity. It's imminent, like fluttering petals. At any moment, new inspiration is going to just explode into my brain. Like, oh, of, and, ah, von. Always, God? Silence, you caveman! Such foolishness from a mere peasant will filthy up my brain. I'm almost there, so close. Please do not interfere with me! Your mannequin, I mean, is Suki really okay? You're so persistent. Look at her smooth, perfect body. She doesn't have a mark on her. Hmm. So, oh, you're so good. Oh, my Suki. Suki, you are just too lovely. If I were to lose you, I doubt I could go on living. This does look like the real Suki. It's just what's going on here. So, a new trend is coming. Very soon, yes. Very soon. Not retro, but a new style? Oh, yes. A new era. Acrobatic! No. Oh, no, nonest! No, that's not it. Ah, oh, vain! <laughs> yes.
I've collected all the puzzle pieces. The west side window. Will be champagne as soon as we arrive in these. I'm very sorry, sir, but she isn't a boy. I don't know who you are. That's it. This piece of the past has been solved. Marshall, are you really sentimental enough to hold on to a pen that can't even write? Unexpected. Most unexpected. You seem quite different from the man I first imagined you to be. But that doesn't mean you're totally free from suspicion. I told you The same uh, trick won't work God twice. Damn it! Although it's still the first time for you. The Fenway Park ticket was a used ticket. What? The seat cover pattern is cherry blossom and snow. What are you rambling about? The destination is in the other direction. The sun can be seen from the windows on the right side. In other words, the aircraft is flying south. Explain yourself clearly! I am David Young, a private detective who also collaborates with the BPD. Now you, Derek Buchanan, I consider you suspicious. If you are the one I'm after, you're gonna remain heavily involved in my investigation from now on. So let me give you this warning. I'll do whatever it takes to achieve my goal. I'll never give up. Even if it means I have to get in your way. So be ready for that. Oh, one other thing. Something I probably ought to mention. According to the BPD files, you get killed while transporting the courier known as Rabbit. to be killed? Antonio Zapatero and Olivia Jones. They vanished right in front of my eyes. Literally, vanished. They didn't vanish at all. They were never on this flight. This isn't the AG Flight 117 of Boston. It's a different aircraft heading for Washington. In other words, they didn't vanish. I moved. It must have happened at that moment. I used the broken fountain pen to come further back in time. feel anything from either one anymore. David. Why do you shave your beard every day? <laughs> it was just starting to grow out. It's such a waste. Little Peggy. What should I do?
knocking this one out of the park. Let him go. Vanish. Never talk to me again. Next time I'll break more than one. is a story of a man with a very strange fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings. You, mister. Hey, mister, who are you? I'm David Young. Who are you? David? You're David? There's a spot built duck with her duckling over there. <laughs> Let's play with them. What are you doing here, David? I'm looking for something. Something? Yeah. Something. So, what is it? A lead. That will let me meet someone special. One more time. A lead? What does it look like? I don't know. What'll you do once you find it? I'm... gonna change the past. <laughs> you can't change the past, David. <gasps> Little Peggy. You can't change the past. You do know that, don't you, David? No. I can do it. I'm going to change it. Time is always moving into the future. It's always been that way. But... You can't change the past. You just have to accept it. 
I belong to the past. I'm dead, David. No! I am dead. I am dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. It's always this way, when I'm diving into the past, and I fall asleep, I get knocked out, I end up back here. Teddy. Teddy? Teddy! It's really gotten late. This belongs to the person who jumped me on the passenger flight. If this is a fragment of some sunglasses, then that narrows it down to only one suspect. But is he really the type to use a stun gun? <sighs> it's no good. The pieces aren't fitting, little Peggy. Huh? Teddy's laptop. Murders related to real blood. Why does he even bother with a password? Hmm? He's using geographical profiling. BPD, a hockey rink, Diana's Cafe, the Oldman Clinical Research Lab, this apartment, and the house little Peggy grew up in. Teddy. Just what the hell are you investigating?
running, little Peggy. <laughs> Good morning, David. <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. Spence, tell me, how's the case going? The mementos are all gone. What? How'd that happen? Someone attacked me. What kind of attack? Felt like electricity. A stun gun or something. Knocked me right out. Ah. So we're back to square one. No. I do have this. Hmm. Doesn't look like much. What it looks like is a lens from some sunglasses. And what does that mean? Tell me, Teddy. Do federal marshals use stun guns? Hmm. At their discretion, maybe. But why would Derek Buchanan <sighs> use one? That muscle-bound, hard-headed old schooler. I don't know. Must have been an on-the-spot kind of thing. Hmm. Changing the subject, Teddy. Can I ask you something? Did someone come here last night? What makes you think that? Amanda's sleeping on top of the TV. She's shy around new people. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, someone did. Just an informant for a case I'm working on. Don't make that face, David. Uh, I'm sorry for calling him here, all right? Uh, for forgive me, all right? Huh? Oh, yeah, J just forget about all that, all right? Uh. Right now, you need to concentrate on the case of the Vanishing Courier. This one is linked to D. That's what my gut tells me. My detective gut. Not my beer one. <sighs> it's no good. I can't find anything. No good. I can't find anything. Hey, Amanda, where'd that ball come from? Hey, Amanda, where'd that ball come from? Be a good girl and hand that over. Give it back! Come on! Ow! Oh, ow, ow! This. You can't hide from me. Whoa. Hey, 
That tickles. Not enough salt. That's it. Good girl. Just stay still. Uh-huh. Destroy the entire house? You could help out, you know. Yes, gotcha. Now, Teddy! This is the end, Amanda. Give me the ball! David! No! I don't think so! Ugh. Teddy, this is a memento. A memento? The baseball? How come? How the hell did that get in among the evidence anyway? Because I got involved in its past. Change this ball into a memento. Maybe I really can change the past. Dave, we're restarting this investigation. I've made the connection, little Peggy. David! <laughs> you can't change the past. Facing the past changes your perception of it. This memento, <laughs> it's the same. You didn't change the past. Just how you perceive Eddie. it. Eddie. You always help me out. Thanks, partner. Hey! David! Uh, Teddy, I'm sorry. No matter what you say, I'm not giving up. I'm gonna find Dee and save her life. That's why I need the courier's evidence. Olivia. Uh, um. So, 
We're below the seats now. Blood stains? What happened after the lightning strike? Huh. Olivia. Don't move. How did you get down here? Just who the hell are you? I'm a private detective. David Young. Formerly a detective with the BPD. I used to wear a badge too. You think I'll buy that? Huh. That's up to you. Delta calling Eagle. Delta calling Eagle. The Federal Marshal. Derek Buchanan got my gun. He's taking the target. The marshal's moving the courier, and we need to get up there. I said don't move! I'm leaving. Move back again and I'll shoot! No, you won't. I can't let you go. There's something I have to do. Oh. Ah! Oh. I'll share my shoulder, if you'll share your radio and gun. A temporary ceasefire. Can I trust you? Like I said, that's up to you. This is the space below the passenger seating. If we move between the luggage, we'll be able to reach below the cockpit. Now let's hurry and catch up to them. Looking closely, the differences become quite clear. But she still bears a strong resemblance to little Peggy. Uh, is... something the matter? Let's just keep moving. Expensive tequila.
That should do it. Always good to put a lid on dangerous things. should do it. Always good to put a lid on dangerous things. It won't open. the Marshal take Antonio Zapatero hostage? I have no idea. You're one to talk anyway. Seems like you'll do just about anything for your investigation. Are you really just a private detective? I'm going after the Courier, at the request of the BPD. The BPD? Your people asked for the cooperation. I wasn't aware of that. I'm sorry. I meant, will ask. Huh? No good. Can't get it open. Okay, we've got to find the flashlight. Very well. Let's do that. Found it. The flashlight bulb. <laughs> Found it! This tube must be the body of the flashlight. We found the flashlight, but still no batteries. They might have rolled back behind all the junk in here. <sighs> then we'll never find them. Let's look for something we can use instead. Yes, okay. Oh, <laughs> 
That's it. The radio. The radio runs on batteries. What do you think I am, your girlfriend? section. Olivia, why is the DEA going after real blood? There are plenty of other drugs causing issues on a national scale. You're right. There are many other drugs we need to go after, but somehow, real blood feels different from those. It feels more twisted, more dangerous than something just being used as a source of income. We've found a lot of strange corpses and in incidents related to real blood. People with all their skin reversed, drowned in the absence of water. Or oh, bodies with all the blood removed from their body. You know something about real blood, don't you? Maybe. Hmm. Looks like those gunshots came from here. The machinery section is through there. Looks like the door is locked. So there was a skirmish here, and then he ran further inside. There's no power. Damn it. <clears throat> Almost got it. Huh? Did you see that guy? See who? What did you see? Things are worse than I thought.
but why is it been that should restore power in this section? I've got a good idea about the identity of that thing back there. But in that case, what's the Marshal playing at? Just over two years ago, there was a detective who quit over a real blood murder. Sounds like he was forced out under suspicion of possibly killing his wife. The report also says he was critically injured, including some memory loss. What do you think this former detective is doing now? What's your point? Please, answer me. I didn't kill her. I knew it was you. You're the detective from that case. And that's why you've muscled in on this one. What are you after? Don't tell me. Revenge? Listen. Back off. I can't let you become any more involved in this. Olivia, wait. Hands up. Don't move. Place your hands behind your head and lie down on the ground. Lie down on the ground, now! <sighs> Olivia, get your head down! Delta. Agent Cheney, please respond. Philip! <laughs> oh no. Go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. Marshal, please, don't do anything stupid. through here. Mr. 
What the hell are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? Mr. Young. <laughs> I'm watching over you. It's futile, Mr. Young. I highly doubt that she can see me. I can be seen. By Mr. Young, but not by Miss Jones. I think you understand what that. He's fatally wounded. Marshal. You were planning this from the beginning, weren't you? Now I have all of the puzzle pieces. Fucking with my fake eye, weren't you? Trying to take him while I was sleeping? Send your ass or your head! The man is far more than just his looks. Don't tell him I've understood that. Look at him. That's it. That's what happened. Spit it out. The name of your boss. Now! That's some serious shit, man. <coughs> Eric Buchanan! <laughs> Just give it up. You're gonna die here either way. Now I understand everything. The reason you're so focused on real blood cases. And the reason your wife is so much younger than you in that picture. And even 
The identity of my attacker. You aren't the D I'm chasing. You've been following real blood cases in order to avenge your family. Your family was killed by a real blood user, perhaps. So you swore to wipe out everyone involved with real blood. Well, Marshal, have I got it right? What the hell do you know? More than you'd think. I lost my beloved wife, too. Marshal, listen. Just give up on the revenge. None of this will bring back your family. I, on the other hand, can change the past. Your family might not even have to die. So please, give me that evidence. Don't fuck with me. Don't you fuck with me! Change the past? Who's gonna believe that bullshit? Do you have any idea how much I've suffered over these last ten years? You're just so drunk! You have no right to say anything about my family! I'm not giving him up. Or the evidence. If you want it so bad, you'll have to take it by force. Marshal, enough! Huh? <laughs> 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 AG Flight 117 to Boston. And a different flight to Washington, D.C. The other D, who was on board both of these flights. <laughs> You're the one I should have been after. Codename Delta. Philip Cheney! <laughs> Now, how may I help you? Die! <laughs> 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 